Hello and welcome to another YouTube video and today I'm going to sh be showing you how to build a spruce cottage like kind of thing. This is going to be the final result, this is what it's going to look like. Um, and on the thumbnail of this video it's going to be a picture of the house. Um, and I think it looks quite nice, it's quite small, um, not too big and um, if you want my resource pack that I'm using and the shaders, the link to download them will be in the link in the description. Um, there will just be two links, and I'll say like which one is which shaders and which one is resource pack. So um, yeah, so what I've done is I've created it over here with loads of little trees around it to see like the environment around it, and recreated it every layer so this is the first layer second layer third layer fourth layer with the roof fifth layer and then finally sixth layer so i'm gonna go through explaining it but before i do that i'm actually going to go in f1 mode and i'm going to go up and i'm gonna pause on like each little bit so you can pause on each part and then after that i'm going to explain it just in case you can't copy it from pictures so here's number one here's number two basically just went up one layer here's number three a few more details that I'll get into after number four which is basically just adding a roof and some stairs on the sides I'll get into that again after oh yeah and also a little part the soul sound soul lanterns on there and then like a little added bit for the roof nothing much and then the final bit of the roof with a campfire for the chimney now I'm gonna go through from the start and explain so first of all you're going to need a 10 width so 10 width like this and 11 length so 11 up 10 sideways so yeah um if you start from the bottom left you can skip one and then go for a spruce log and you could probably start from there and you can see there's three up and you go side up this if you don't know by the resource pack so this is a gate and this is a fence now also if you haven't seen by the resource pack this is still a lantern but it changes form so they, these are both lanterns but when it's hanging it's like a chinese kind of lantern and then that's a normal lantern and then down here is a soul lantern which is hanging so um yeah so basically if you start from the bottom left you go i'll start from the bottom left and then you go spruce and then there's another spruce and then there's two blanks and then it goes up by three if you're starting from this one up by three so one two and then side to one to the left then up one then a gate then a spruce log and then it's another striped um striped spruce planks and then you go diagonal to the right then there's two fences that go beside it and then from that that fence if you go up one or if you're building it this way down one um you build four across and then you basically do the same thing on the side now it is symmetrical so it should be easy if you do one side and then you can copy it off the other side and then if we move to layer two we can see that um it goes just one up of everything like hasn't changed at, at all just up one um yeah i think that's it oh no there's lanterns here hang hanging lanterns now so adding a fence and then hanging that on if you do this by like breaking down and then you place it so let's do that now on to layer three so there is a few more if you start from the gate here at the back, you just put a striped spruce log, no, striped spruce planks um, over these all the way around 
up to this part which is the gate again and you put a spruce log and you place it on this part that you just placed and it will like go this way instead of like this now um also what i wanted to say is all of the striped logs they have to be pointed in this direction so on the floor i've placed them all like this but i haven't like done some like this and oh it seems like on this spruce log it seems that it comes out so you place one of the stripped spruce wood and you put it on it and then also you add so from these three there'll be two logs here and then one of these you just place them like this and then for this um spruce log you place it like this and then do the same over here and then you place fences over there from this spruce log we get the fences and we place it all on there to go down there and then same on the other side now layer four here is where the soul, soul lanterns come in this one is a bit more confusing than all the rest so this one's going to need a real bit of explaining so with these spruce stairs there is one two three four five which i which helped me when i was building all of them so if i just break them so then you get your spruce stairs and you start on the spruce log and you build on top of the fences and then you go round and then you place it again oh wait no not that bit that part then there's some little sneaky parts up here so if you go by the door you did the fence over here but also you have to get um <coughs> When you do the roof, you fill it all in, like, if I just break this, um, you'll get to this part, if I just pick up these, yeah, you'll get to this part where you're filling the roof in, and you're going to keep going, keep going, all the way through, and it'll look like this, and then you get your lanterns and you put them one after this so you, if you do it down here so you see there's like a little line in the middle of this block which goes for all of the blocks if i click underneath the line my stair will go like up but if i do it above the line it'll face down so then you want to do it all the way down there for four and then i also want it to go round so what i do is i get the top left corner of the stair I click on it and it will make this like weird shape where it wants it knows that I'm going to um it knows I'm going to turn it around so like that and then I'm going to do the same here top right corner this time and then do it there again also on the back so when you're filling it in I'm going to remove that when you're filling the roof in you don't want to go on top of these you want to keep these all free you don't want them to go up to here when you're building it and for and to stop that from happening i go i don't build it over and i build out like that and it'll make like this kind of shape where it goes like um right down right up right so then what you want to do is you want to get this part so from this diagonal part where it goes like that you want to get the first part and you want to go like this and as you see on the corners I'm going like that and that's because it wouldn't work any other way if I did it like that it wouldn't work so I'm doing like that and um, yeah that's layer 3 I left these two and you'll see why soon because it looks quite nice near the end without that part you can add it if you want though if you think that looks nicer but it's your choice now it's getting on to a kind of easy bit now okay moving on to layer four 
Um, I feel like this will be easier explain easier to explain if I build it whilst I'm going through. So you're at this part after you've built this part, and you've just done the roof, you've done the soul lanterns, you've done all of that. Now, what you want to do is after this these stairs that you've built just before, you want to go one up so you can see it's a different pattern, and you want to cover that pattern just by using four, no anything else yet. And now what you want to do is you want to turn it by doing the same thing. I'm I'm sure you know how to do that. You, once you've got this, this four, you've got to go one, two on both sides. After that, you're gonna go out again, leaving this one part, and then do it same here. Now, these two sides are gonna go out at different lengths. This side, and to make it easier for yourself, if you follow this line you can go one two three and then for this line you can just go one now this will help because when you go when you carry on by going like this and then you turn it will like connect to that part of the three now this part instead of going five which is one two three four five you're gonna go six so you're gonna go one this is counting as one, two, three, four, five, six, leaving you right up to this part. Then you're going to turn and leave it there for now. And this part, you want I want it to be lined up. So now I'm going to turn it like that and then turn it like that. Now, I want it to do this pattern where it goes in and then back out. So this way. So if you do that it won't work it will have to take a couple of tries oh i did not mean to do that it's quite hard to do but um you can see i didn't do it there right because these two need to be connecting but yeah it's hard so sometimes you can do that i think that works Ah, so hard. How did I do it? Oh, 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 yay! Okay, so that might take you a while to do that part, but, um, if, yeah, that, um, and then if you know you've done it right, it'll leave like a four by one, four by two. L, so one, two, three, four, and then two. L, and then L. So, now after you've done that, you can fill this in with striped spruce. But by the ones that I showed you, they are going to be spruce slabs, which is this three and that one. Um, I was meant to be building that in spruce, but um, yeah, I didn't. What you're going to start with is from the four in the front where it like kind of curves off. You're going to have two stairs and you're going to place them like facing each other. What you're going to do is you're going to, from this part, if you imagine this four, because you won't have all of this here. You're going to go one, two. It won't connect because these two are. And then you're going to go ooh, like that and like that. Now it will connect like that, but once you do that, it will like change. Then you're going to do one more and then you'll be left with one, two, and then one, two, three. So the right part will be longer and that's because of the chimney. And that's why over here we did um, six on the left side and five on the right side. So, from these two, um, so there'll be three here and then there'll be two here. So then you go diagonal like this, so one diagonal, and then you get the stair to be facing you. And then you skip one block because we're, we're going to do that after, and then we'll do it this way. So it'll be like stairs going up like this. Then you're going to skip one again to this side 
uh, which going left, and then you're going to place another spruce stair there. Um, so if you imagine that, that's the block you, we skip. So if I just get my slabs there again. And then after that, you skip one again, and you'll be back to where you were. So now, the final part is in between here, there'll be four little spaces. This one goes up by two blocks and then a half slab. This one goes up by one and a half slab. This one goes up by just one. This one goes up by two and this one by two and a half. And then after that, you put your campfire inside and you'll be done. Um, and if you don't know how to decorate your house, you can copy me. Okay, so if you want to um, copy my design, then here it is. So, first of all, there's two stairs on either side. They're upside down. So like I taught you, uh, it's on the top half of the block. And you place it and then it'll go upside down. Then there's one lantern on top, a furnace by the side of it, a bed on, like, here from the furnace. And then if you go one from the bed, there's a ch double chest. Then if you come over here, there's two spaces, lantern on the right and then smoker on the left. And then there's a soul lantern on the roof. And then there's a lantern underneath with a crafting table beside the lantern. And then skip one and then there's a blast furnace. And this is like a special plant because um, I think it's the resource pack. Um, you get flower pots and then you put in a oxy eye daisy and it will make this pattern so um yeah this is my spruce cabin that i've designed i hope you like the build i hope it works well for you if you have built this in your survival world or if you've just watched it thank you for watching and if you've copied it thank you for watching if this video helped you building or gave you like some ideas um a like would always be appreciated um i do like seeing likes on my videos makes me very happy and even if no likes and views i just like all the views but um, yeah thank you for watching this video um if you haven't subscribed already please do um i'm not very i'm not gaining many subscribers lately i got one i think the other day from i got 62 now and yeah thank you for watching this video and goodbye